Hello and welcome to another Ouroboros statue review. This is probably going to be the smallest statue I've ever done. <laughs> this thing is tiny. Uh, so this is the alien egg from Sideshow and I think this is really cool. This is one of the first things I ever bought from statue using my rewards points. Um, it costed me nothing and uh, because I had the rewards points. So yeah, I was like, yeah, let's do it. And I do not regret it. This thing is really cool. This is the alien egg from the first movie, I believe. Uh, just you can tell by the way it's set up and um, the like base of it is very reminiscent from the first or uh, well, the original um, HR Giga design. Tiny box, tiny figure. It is a light up and you will see that in this video. So stay tuned. Let's get a little closer. Right here, as always, here's the box. Pretty simple box, very, very simple. So you can see the, the prototype there um, with the background of like a hive with all a whole bunch of alien eggs there. Obviously it says uh, Sideshow Statue or the symbol is Sideshow and then Statue. Alien Egg, top says Alien Egg, bottom just writes and whatnot. And the side kind of just continues with the image. Same thing, sideshow.com, and the continuation of the image. Very simple. As you can see, the light up feature there. It's a lot more prominent in this picture than it is in the actual statue, but we'll get to that in a bit. Alrighty, here we have that little sucker popping out that egg. So as you can see, it's uh, fairly simple, but very powerful. I do like the way it kind of has its own presence with the sub base and um, the egg with the face hugger kind of moving over it. So yeah, you can see the sub base and then this little sucker popping out of the front there, kind of hugging the egg, face hugger. Egg hugger? I don't know, you decide. <laughs> it's got this gooey base at the bottom here. It's all one color, but I'm pretty sure it was kind of that same metallic gray, glossy kind of, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's a very, it's very tertiary metallic silver or blacky gray, if you will. Then you've got this, obviously the alien egg there, very pimply, very rough textured. I do like the texturing in the skin, all the little folds and slight carved details or sculpted details and then the indents and extents of the, the skin. Kind of reminds me of the old school poster from back in the day when it first came out. You know, people fainted in that movie. You watch it now, it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's all right, but <laughs> it's not that scary. But uh, that's coming from a guy who didn't watch it till, you know, it was, there was scary stuff out there. But yeah, people actually fainted in that, in the first screening, which is crazy. You can see the face huggers kind of coming out of the inside there, either crawling down this, the, the egg or, I don't know, jumping out and grabbing it. I'm not too sure, but it's just a cool concept. Uh, it, it is strange how they didn't have the alien slightly coming out or uh, exploding out. Maybe they wanted to do something different. I'm not entirely sure, but it is really cool. You can see the the nastiness of that, which looks really cool. I do, I do like the kind of vein work that they have going in, inside of that. Looks really cool. You can see the vein work inside a little bit better. The sculpt is nice. The detail is very nice. So originally this is actually like sheep's lining of a sheep's stomach or something that they put all nastiness in there to make it look really cool and grotesque and whatnot. And yeah, it looks really cool. I'll get a closer look at this, this bug. All right, here's a bit of a close up of the egg as well as the face hugger. I love the detail in this face hugger. I think I do not regret purchasing this at all, even though I didn't kind of purchase it. I absolutely love this thing. It it just fits so nicely with almost any statue or figure from Alien. At the moment, I have it next to the 25th anniversary um, DVD head case thing that they had. Uh, a really cool looking thing. But I, uh, yeah, you, you can see the colors got this like skin tone cream. Originally it was meant to be green or black or something. 
when they poured the mold for the face hugger it it was this like translucent skin tone and it just made it more creepy so they actually kept it and they added obviously some paint jobs here and there but yeah that's one of those cool things that you like to hear about in movies or at least i do but yeah okay let's let's get into the the light up feature Alrighty, sorry for the poor lighting but kind of needed uh, poor lighting for the light feature to work it's not too bad you can see it but only on under severe loss of light at the moment i just have the backlights of my display on and the main bedroom light uh, the main room light off it shows but not that well i do like the green i wish it was stronger uh, to be fair i don't know how they would pull it off if they were to make um the the light or the the paint slightly thinner on the, about here down kind of what, what they did there you can still see the the paint through the through the light there or use translucent translucent paint i'm not entirely sure maybe just a stronger led in them I, I don't know but um it it, it looks okay uh i i Again, it's not necessarily a useless gimmick, but it is gimmicky, you know. I, I, I you know, I bought it for the statue, not for the, the light effect, but it's still pretty cool. All right, so the only downsides I'd say about this statue is the, the light not being too bright. As you can see on here, it spawns up a little bit higher on the egg and the posability not necessarily the posability just the pose of the face hugger it's a weird weird way to pose it but at the same time it, it's, it's a really cool way to pose it. it's different but that's only depending on you know the person collecting i i personally like it but yeah thank you so much for joining me for this statue review i hope you guys enjoyed it check out my other videos thank you everybody for your support i do appreciate it um yeah just check out my other videos see if they tickle your fancy <laughs> anyway thanks thanks for watching and stay safe guys <laughs>